Welcome in 25th episode. Today we will implement the request new shape button. If you want to help support this channel, hit the subscribe button below this video, turn on notifications so you will not miss any future episode I release. Also, if you want to get any of the ready project, uh, go to my website codeplanstudio.com, go to the Buy Unity projects where you can find ready projects for you to release. So you can purchase any of the games from any of my tutorial on this YouTube channel. Okay, so let's get started. So, first of all, uh, we want to open our project and we want to add our request new shape button over here in this corner. So the idea is that if player will, uh, will have some shapes which won't be possible to place on the grid, he can change the shapes by hitting the request new shape button. But this button will be available only when the player will watch the interstitial advertise. So if the ads is played and is completed, the request new shape button will be activated with three requests available. So today we're going to implement the request new shape button and later on we're going to add the implementation for the, for the advertisement. So let's get started. So let's open our project. Let's go to the scenes. Open the game scene. Open the canvas and we need to add uh, new elements. So right click on the canvas and create um, empty. I will call this element to be request new shape button. Request new shape. And then inside this element, we want to add new element UI image. And that's going to be our request new shape button. Okay, so now we need to add uh, the graphics for this button. So let's go to our graphics and you should see the request new shape button graphics. So there are two graphics currently in this folder. One, one is for watch the ad and one is the request new shape button. So select our request new shape button object and grab our request new shapes graphics into the source image and hit the set native size. And now I will change the scale to be 0.5 so we have the bottom like that. I'll move the position to somewhere here and move it on the side. Maybe over there. So it's line up with our best score. Okay, now we need to add uh, the text uh, for the requests. So I will right click on the request new shape button, UI. And then let's uh, add the text, text mesh pro. Okay. And uh, if you don't have Text Mesh Pro added to your project, you will see this pop-up window as me. And then uh, you need to import just the essential. If you want to import the example examples and extras, that's fine. But I will import uh, essentials only. So hit this button. Wait for you need to import it. Once it's done, the button will be grayed out, so you can close this window. And now you see we have the Text Mesh Pro component. So I, I will put in the text just the number zero. And uh, I'm not sure if you can see, but our text is, is appear over here. So let's change the size of the text to be maybe 95. Uh, let's make it, uh, let's move it to the side. So we have it in our blue box. It's there. Okay, and you can change uh, any of the font you like. Uh, you can import new fonts, doesn't really matter. It's up to you what font you want to use. I will make it bold and uh, I think that's fine. Okay, now let's add some uh, behavior. So uh, let's go to our scripts. Let's, uh, let's go to our game right click create c sharp script and i will call it request new shape button okay you can open the script now so right at the top of this script 
let's first of all add the required component so required component and we will need uh, the type of button okay make sure you have the button from the unity engine ui not from the ui elements because it will not work we are using the uh, uh, i'm going inside the unity right now uh, we can now remove the update method and let's remove the comments okay now let's add few uh, public variables so first one will be public int and it's going to be number of requests will be equal to three we will be able we will be able to modify that from within the editor uh, another variable will be public text mesh pro uh, ugui so this uh, will add our using statement uh, using statement for tm pro make sure you have this in <coughs> and let's call this uh, number text and then one more will be public button uh, activate request new shape button and let's add few private variables so first one will be uh, private int and that's going to be the current number of requests another will be private button and then button and then private bool is locked okay so in our start method let's make it uh, private uh, first of all we want to get our current number of requests will be equals to number of requests then we want to cache our button uh, actually i will i will do the button get component button so instead of getting this uh, request new shape button i think i will just delete that and we're going to cache the button from within the start method and then we want to add the on click event so uh, in our button so button dot on click on click on click add listener and then on button down so we want to add a listener to our button so we will need to create this function now so i will use the c sharp uh, uh, writer to create it for me and that's going to be our on button down and now we need to implement this function so inside our on button down first of all we want to check if the button is locked uh, so if is locked uh, is equal to false then we wanna actually uh, every time we press the button we're gonna request new shapes so we will decrease the current number of requests and then we wanna call the game events request request new shapes and then after we call that uh, function we wanna check if if our current number of requests is uh, is less or equal zero so if we don't have any more request we're gonna just disable the button the request new shape button so uh, i will put the function lock lock this function is not existing yet so i will just create method of this function okay and now we need to implement that function so inside the log function we will do is log equal to true and then uh, bottom dot interactable interactable is equal to false and then number text dot text be equal to current request to string okay so we're just gonna lock our button and make it unclickable and then we need to, or of course another function which is gonna be the unlock so private void unlock 
So inside the unlock function is very easy. We're just gonna set is locked to false, and then uh, bottom interactable equal to true. Okay, so let's for now uh, call this unlock function from our start method. So right at the beginning, I will call unlock. Actually, we cannot recall it in the beginning because uh, our bottom is cached here. So let's call it at the end. If you will call it at the beginning, you will have the error inside your editor because the bottom will not be initialized and we are actually referencing our bottom. So this would be null. So make sure you call it from the at the end of the function. So once you do that, uh, I think it's pretty much it for this class. There is one more thing we need to change. And this is actually, we want to, from our on down button, we want to first of all request new shapes, but also we want to check if the player lost. So currently, inside, um, inside our grids class, if you go to the grid class and go to the function, uh, check if any line is completed right at the end we have the check if player lost function and this function is called directly from the uh, from this class we want to make this event instead of the function so let's open our uh, event class so game events and then we want to put under the request new shapes we want to put the public static action and we want to um, uh, call it check if player lost. Check if player lost. Okay, I will copy this name and then let's go to the grid class. And we want to call this function, this game events from within our grid class. So after add scores, we want to go to the game events dot check if player lost. Okay, and then we want to actually remove this call of the function and we want to subscribe to that check if player lost. So check if player lost need to be initialized inside our on enable and on disable function. So right at the top. So inside the on enable function, let's add the game events dot check if player lost plus equal check if player lost and then we want to unsubscribe from it inside our on disable so i'm just going to copy it and make sure you put the minus here okay so this is simple modification and now what this let us to do is reusing this function and call this event from our from our request new shape button. So go to that class now. And inside our on button down, after we request new shape, we're gonna call the game events dot check if player lost. Okay. And that will be it. You can save everything now. Let's go back to Unity. Let it compile. Okay, and now we can actually f go to the file and then save. Now let's go back to our scene. Let's open the main menu. Let's play, press play. And let's click on it. And as you see, there is uh, some issues because I forgot to initialize some vari uh, variables. So let's stop it. Let's go back to the game scene. Let's go back to our button. So request new shape button. And actually, the first thing I forgot is to add the script. So let's go to the scripts, game, and then select our request new shape button and grab our request new shape script and drop it inside this component. So request new shape button should be added. And now, as you see, uh, we have our request new shape number of requests. Uh, I made a typo here. So let's set it to three. 
and then we need to grab our text number so text number will be our text so to grab the, that object and drop it into the text number okay and now let's save everything so uh, file and then save and then let's switch back to our scenes main menu and press play so after this you can start the game and for some reason our text is not uh, initialized let's try to request new shapes so the bottom works and uh, as you see you can click only three times on it but for some reason the text doesn't so let's go back to our game and let's see what is happening with that text and let's open our script again and let's see if so the thing is i'm not actually updating uh, the text with the with the right text so first of all we need to mm, get our text so number text and let's go to our on bottom down and right uh, right at the bottom inside the f statement let's call number text dot text will be equal to current request uh, number of request to string and let's copy this line and let's add this line inside the start method under the initialization of this variable so in this way we're going to initialize the the first text and then every time we we'll press we're going to update the text so let's save everything let's go back to unity again okay let's go to the main menu press play and let's start the game as you see we have our three requests every time we press we have one ls request so that's it for this episode uh, hopefully you didn't have any issue with it if you did please rewatch the video again and uh, in the next episode we're gonna add the small the top part of this button and uh, which you can actually find in the graphics folder so watch add to unlock so once you pre press that watch out to unlock and you watch the interstitial add this button will be unlocked and then the player can request new shapes so if you like the series please consider subscribing to this channel and leave a like so thanks for watching and i will see you again in the next episode